Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we are going to be making this bag. I saw it on Pinterest again. I think I'm going to make a whole like Pinterest recreate series because a lot of the things that I'm making or am inspired to make is from Pinterest. But besides that, and I'm actually really excited to make this bag. Inspired from the Chinese, but like a takeaway plastic bag that you get from like restaurants. So it's a thank you, have a nice day plastic bag, but it's crocheted. And in the photo, it's massive. I'm gonna <laughs> try to make it exactly like the photo. I've already uploaded my photo to Ditch Fiddle, which makes it into a graph that I'm gonna crochet, like my tapestry crochet video, which you guys can watch down below. The plan is to make the graph. I don't know how big it's gonna be. The plan is to make the grid and then make a duplicate of the grid, but just a plain color, so it's the back. Stitch that together and then add the handle. Seems like easy enough, right? We'll see about that. So now I'm gonna pick out the colors for my tote bag. I have chosen my yarn and I'm going to start the graph now. I chain 97 chains and even though once I start crocheting it'll like condense a little bit, it'll still be too big. So my plan is to trim the edges of the graph so it's at least like 80, 85. Guys, it's been a couple of days. Where have you been, Jackson? Where have I been? I haven't been recording myself, but I have been crocheting. I'm pretty much finished with the writing bit at the bottom. And now that I'm looking at it, it's gonna be a pretty big bag because I've just completed this much of the graph. My goal is to try and finish this by today. Like I will work through the night to finish this graph so that tomorrow I can look in the back and then there's still a lot of things to do. So now we have the yellow. My first yellow row and I'm loving the colors together. I tried to make a top out of this but it failed or I gave up so this was actually a waste of my energy and time and now I'm just using it for this. Safe to say, I'm halfway done now. It's actually going a bit condensed and smaller, so it's a bit smaller than what I was expecting it to be. So, I did this in I think two hours, so some progress done. I definitely think I can finish this today. I'm gonna keep going at it. I don't know what day it is, day three. I have gotten this much done of my smiley tote bag. I'm just about halfway done. I can finish this grid today, but it is a bit smaller than I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be massive, but it's just a normal tote bag right now. It was 90 stitches before, like 92, just under 100, and I changed it to 70, so it would have been the perfect size, but it would have taken longer, so. Live and we learn. Hopefully be done by two o'clock. It's 12 right now, 11.58. The time is 1.20 and I have just finished. Now all I need to do is do the thank you part at the top of the bag. It is 3.33 and I have finished the front of the bag. Now I just want to make the bag bigger because right now it's like a normal size tote. And in the photo, it was a bit bigger so I want it to look exactly like that. So I'm going to add a few rows of single crochet around the edges. After that, I'm going to start the back of the bag to think I'm only halfway through this project because this is the front of the bag. And up to the back and then the straps. This may be my biggest project on my YouTube channel so far. It is day... Four. The time is 10.08, another day to crochet. So I, I already showed you guys that I finished the front part of the bag. Thank you, have a nice day. I didn't show you, but I started working on the back. It was just a plain single crochet rectangle. I'm not done yet, but I'm making it the same size as the front, but it's a bit bigger. I will just stretch the front panel a little bit just so it 
It's the same size as the one at the back. I am almost done with the back panel. 20 something more rows left. Then I will be done with the front and back. So I have finished both panels now, front and the back. Originally, my plan was to do like just a tote bag. So tote bag and then straps at the top, stitching this together and then it will become a tote bag. But I was thinking, since this is inspired by the takeaway plastic bags that you get from like Chinese food, I think, I wanted to make it like a plastic bag. They're not tote bags, they have a connecting side panel and the bottom panel. So, not a plastic bag for reference. So right now I have the front and back panel. I'm gonna base my bag off this. So essentially it's a crochet plastic bag. But I think it's, so, it's gonna be so cute. I'm so excited to make this. Just connected at the bottom. This is on the side. It's like this. So I am just going to make a rectangle. I don't know if it's one rectangle or two rectangles. This strap is what's kind of throwing me off a bit. So I'm looking at the plastic bag. It's basically a rectangle or two if you split it in half. That's connected at the bottom here. Rectangle all over here and then it kind of arches a bit, curves into the handle, both connected to the front and the side. I decided to draw it. So I have this both the front and back already. And so now I'm just gonna work on the sides, which I'm just gonna do two rectangles and stitch them up together rather than one big one. So that there's like that fold there. So my plan for this is to do a thermal crochet strap so that it's a lot more condensed and it won't stretch over time. I didn't realize when I started making this that this project would take so long, but I have a feeling it's gonna be worth it in the end. Deciding on how big I want my bag to be. I want it to be quite big. There's no method to what I'm doing. I'm just freehanding this. I just estimated how big I want my bag to be. And I want it to be 14 centimeters wide when it's like fully open on the side. So that means I'm gonna need two seven centimeters side panels. If that makes sense. Two seven centimeter thermal crochet panels. Actually, I need to make four for both sides. Let's do this. Hey guys, so I'll actually have to make a part two of this video because it's getting too long. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'm so excited for the end of this project. So stay tuned for part two. It'll be out really soon. Subscribe, like this video. See you guys in part two. Bye!